All right, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. This is my uh, my SP2 video. Um, let's see. Does the free cam work yet? God fucking damn it. Yeah. Okay. I'll have to figure that out later. So, I'm purely making this video because a lot of people were wondering if the SP2 is good or trash, and my simple answer is, it's okay, it's not overpowered, it's not trash, it's kind of mediocre at best. The major issues I have with this tank is one, the speed, and two, the armor. It looks like it's a super heavily armored tank, but yet the highest armor on this tank is 200 millimeters. Which, if you put that into perspective, a chieftain can pen 90% of this tank with its he eight Hesh shells. It's not HE, it's Hesh. Um, and what are a few other tanks with 90 millimeters? Well, this tank, for example, this tank can pen itself in the hull with its HE. It's not very heavily armored, and that makes this tank a real struggle to play because of how thick this tank is. A lot of bushes actually don't cover the side spots, which is annoying. The camo on it isn't the worst. Um, I have mine up to 30%, and this was my first game in this tank, so that would explain my response to the, uh, the YAG. The major thing I think that defines this tank is the gun alone. Its penetration isn't the exact best, and APCR shells as sniping rounds on a TD kind of suck in my opinion. But the accuracy on this tank is probably one of the most redeeming factors, along with the fact that it's one of the most DPM heavy TDs. I think I have mine around. 3.6k, 3.7k right now, and I do have intuition on this on like my grille. I made sure. <laughs> so here I'm just waiting for shot, and I don't think I'm gonna get a shot. So there's not really a point of me sitting on the hill, risking getting killed. And I know that they're gonna win this based off of how my team is playing, and how we've already taken the tracks. The major thing is, is we push the tracks too late because we push the tracks down here as you push across these windows there and these windows there everyone on the hill on this side of the hill is able to shoot you there so like this leo is bleeding this tvp is going to bleed as he pushes in there this leo is going to push in and there's a tvp and there's a leo and an ebr just to kill that one guy and then these two are going to wrap around to kill the TVP and eventually the YAG. So all of these guys on this side of the map either push in earlier or have to rotate out. Otherwise, they're pretty much sentencing their own doom. So here I'm looking down the tank alley to see if I'll get a shot. And I see that the 60 TP is moving up. A lot of people don't know this about the hill. But when you're going by this church... You can actually do the same thing that you do on the other side. You can hit these guys in the ass. And something that is really good about this tank is the caliber. Yes, it has less alpha. I didn't mean to pause it there. But yes, it has less alpha. However, it still has a big enough caliber to auto crit important things. So there, I saw that he was trying to aim for me. But he was struggling with the, um, the use of his turret. So I took that snapshot and just continued, knowing that I don't want to take a hit from this guy. I want to keep my HP because of how this game is going. I'm figuring it's most likely a loss, so I might as well get as much HP as I possibly can for the end game, because that's where you get most of your damage. So here, I'm watching in between that the dead the tank for this Kron. And I snap the shell because I know that the Kron is about to go back into cover. I got really lucky and that shell actually hit. And that's something that I've noticed with this tank is a lot of my shells I don't actually fully aim. 
but yet they still hit. And I don't know if that's just the first game luck, or the first day of playing it luck. However, if that's something that's common for me in this tank, I can definitely see myself playing a lot more. Now, something that I'm doing here, I didn't expect the 60 TP to have any help. So I'm peeking this, and I'm waiting for my circle to go down as I aim. And I got shot, and I saw the 60 TP turning, so I snapped the shot to not take another hit. I didn't expect the Leo to be sitting there helping him. Now, here, I'm backing up to get 60 TP on the edge, if not out of the spotting range, so that I can hit him again. But I'm also doing mistake by not going backwards. If I was to go backwards, then I could reverse side scrape off of the edge, which would limit how much I'm exposing my tank. Now, I know that I can pen that if I hit him in the right spot, and I know that that's not the right spot because I slapped him in the drive wheel instead of actually hitting his tank. So here, I'm just trying to hit him in the engine deck, and I do, and I let him on fire again. Which, this is the second auto fire extinguisher I've taken from this guy. And now I'm just, I'm waiting for him to show himself even more, and he doesn't, so then I see that the Leo's going in, so I'm gonna snap the shot into the Leo. The Leo lit me there, because this thing has terrible camo after firing. It's not like the stir in that matter. The SP2 luckily does hit that Leo again, which means that the Leo is down to a one-shot next time he peeks. I know that the Leo is gonna be peeking before the M5Y, so I'm just ready to hit and punish that Leo. And then here, I know that the Yag is dead. There's nothing I can do to keep that Yag alive because he decided to push up. I know that he's going to die. So I'm going to focus on myself and trying to get more damage out of this game. Now, the important thing to see is that that Leo is pushing up and in the open. I really should have taken that shot sooner because then I would be able to reload to shoot this guy twice. However, I didn't see that, and now I see that the Kron is coming out, so I'm going to get ready to aim the shot. I'm just going to snap it to try and keep it so he doesn't hit me, to just conserve even more HP. I know that that guy's going to hit me, there's nothing I can do against it. But at this point, I think that 60 TP or M5Y is going to get behind me soon. So I'm just focused on trying to get kills for the W and A and getting damage. Now luckily that 183 is running food and he doesn't have a firefighting crew because he's fucking retarded. So now I'm just focused on killing the 183. I thought that 183 shot before, so I felt safe in re-peaking that. And now I'm just trying to get as much damage as possible. Sadly the 60 TP does reload before I can get another shell off. However, I was very happy with how this game ended. And then I need to finish that and go into the game again to go do the second replay that I have set up to uh, show you guys. And while I do that, I'm going to look at the Discord. Okay, someone's complaining that an ST2 penned their 60 TP 9 shots in a row without gold. Which I don't understand because 60 TP armor is such a fucking meme. Oof. And then Hal got ammo racked trying to mark his tank, so now he's pissed off. Okay. I'll probably play more games in the SP2 after this. Um, so let's see, replays manager, um, it was this game next, and then I'll show both the post-game stats afterwards. Um, if you're lazy, just skip ahead, it's okay, I, I won't blame you, I mean, I get to see if you skip ahead, but I don't care, I do this because I enjoy doing it.
and because people want to get better at the game, so I'm trying to teach how I play maps and how some tanks can be played. So I load in on Pilsen. Um, I'll skip forwards a little bit. Whoops, too much. Skip forwards way too much. Okay. What the fuck? What have I managed to do? Oh no. What have I done? Let me restart the replay. I don't know what the fuck happened there. That was very, very weird. I have never had that happen before. I could probably just go back in my game files and start the replay from there, but I'm too fucking lazy. So something that I haven't talked about about this tank is the um the reason why I'm setting it up as I am. So, the major thing that I, is the reason why I keep AP shells in this tank is because APCR sucks ass against tanks like the S-Conk or the, um, god, what's the other one with fucking spaced armor and shit? Uh, I can't remember the fucking name. But, the shells aren't able to actually pen the weak points because of how the armor works. And the reason why AP works is because wargaming. So I keep a few AP shells loaded specifically for tanks like that that struggle with the APCR pen. Other than that, I shoot full APCR because there's no other reason to fucking not to. Okay, I won't break it this time. I promise. Okay. Actually, I'll just speed it up one more. Why not? Yeah, God damn it. Fucking buttons. Okay. So I took a blind shot with an AP shell because I'm fucking retarded and it should have been a gold shell just to increase the chances of penning. It didn't end up hitting anything, so it's not like it really matters. I reloaded an HE shell because this thing has pretty good HE pen with 90 millimeters. And it's important that I hit this EBR. Something I didn't expect is for the EBR to outspot me and get past me. So here, I'm trying to aim, and then this awesome Unicum 183 decides to go in front of me. And because my platoon mate hit the EBR, and I know that the EBR will be dodging in and out of these um, hills, I use my intuition to get the APCR back into the tank, and then I blind fire the TDs because of where the 183 just got hit. I didn't get lit, and I know that this EBR is going to light me again, but I want to hit that shot. I do get double punished for it, luckily one only hits the outside track, and it doesn't actually track me, because I have like a 10 second track repair on this tank. But I, I wanted to kill that EBR so we couldn't just sit there in perma spot. I looked up to see if I was showing any of my turret over the hill because I wasn't quite sure how tall this fat ass tank was. 
here. I I'm waiting for the Leo to push in because I do want to get a shot onto the Leo. But it doesn't look like anyone on our team is going to continue to spot that, and I can't spot it myself. So now I'm just, I'm trying to find shots on pretty much anyone that I can. I don't think we're really going to win this side. Now this thing does have 650 alpha. But it's pretty fucking hilarious that you can roll as much as the standard alpha on other kitties. And this is one of the reasons why I hate the APCR. Because of the APCR being APCR and not heat, I could only pen the top of that 268 because APCR is still affected by angling. Unlike heat, the APCR acts like AP, so it's bounceable. Heat just explodes on contact with the vehicle, so whether it pens or not is not based off of angling. And here I get lit, and I was really hoping that Coman, my platoon mate in front of me, would have gotten shot, because that would have been funny. I'm just waiting to go unspotted, and I'm watching the left side of the map to know if they're about to push in. I'm rotating sides because I think that they're about to push in, and I also think that their TDs are going to blind fire the other side where I was sitting and where Coman's sitting right now. So I don't want to sit there and risk losing even more HP if I don't need to. That unfortunately does mean that I don't get to aim that shot in and I don't get to hit him. Another sucky thing is that I tried to snap that and I wasn't pre-aimed for that 5A. Had I been pre-aimed for that 5A, he would have been a one-shot, and then our teammate over there wouldn't have died or been close to death. I think it was close to death. Now we're just trying to find shots on anyone that's still sitting back there, but we're also ready to look the other way in case the, uh, the 268 or the FE try and push through the middle. I'm thinking that their TD is still sitting in the bush, so I'm going to try and blind fire. I saw that hit the hill behind, so I know that he's not there. And then Coleman took another shot, and he actually did hit. So, what their TD was doing was he was sitting there waiting for someone to blind fire, and then he peeked. Or he just decided to peek at that point. I didn't see the STB pushing in here, which is my fault because Coleman said that we can shoot through there, and then I saw the STB and I knew what he was doing. When someone pushes up, okay, when someone pushes up and they take this ramp, you have to run as a TD. If you sit here and you try and brawl with that STB, he's going to be shooting twice, if not three times, for every time I pen him once. So it's not worth me sitting there and trading all of my HP just to get two shots off before I'm dead. So I told Coleman to run, and the 183 knows the plan. You have to run if they're going to take that ramp. Coleman ends up getting lit because he didn't quite get out in time. I don't get lit. The other thing is, is that if we go straight back to this building, we're too far away for these... TDs over here to spot us while staying in those bushes. So at the same time, you might be wondering why the fuck we didn't get shot by their TDs. And the simple answer is because this map is retarded and their TDs can't see you if you rotate out. Now I know that that 215B was moving through the middle, so I'm wondering where the hell he is. And then that's when he gets lit to the right. I don't expect him to notice me right away, and I'm gonna admit he scared the shit out of me by hitting me there, so I just shot randomly and it managed to hit. I was really hoping he would hit Coman and not me again, but because he decided to hit me, he tracks me and makes me waste my repair kit, but I'm also down to a two shot now, which means my likelihood of getting damage is much lower. Coman got shot by the M60, who then missed me because good player, lol. Here, I'm just trying to peek my track out while Coleman's trying to side scrape in a tank with only 20 millimeters of armor. The 705 shoots, I didn't expect anyone to be behind that 705, although Coleman was a good boy and uh, killed the Leo. 
Now here, that 113 was just being a fucking retard, but this is one of the things that I like about this tank in APCR. You can pen a hull down 705A in a tank like this. In any TD with APCR, you can pen the bottom of the turret and the turret ring of the 705A, and a lot of people don't realize that. So here, I know that that STB is going around, but I also know that I have to hit that STB, otherwise he's just going to come and kill us. He does manage to, manage to trade with us, and I tell Ko, man, that STB is going to hit me again, you need to take the next shot. So he just kind of pushes me back into cover because he's a good clan mate, and then he picks up the kill on the STB. We know that we're surrounded, and we know that they're going to keep coming from the other way. And I hear them break down a fence, I do believe it was. Can I go back and listen to that? Oh no, I did it again. No! Okay. So, here. Let's see if I can... Okay, he killed the STB there. I didn't hear a fence, so I just guessed. I thought I heard a fence. That must have been a different game. So, I just guessed where he was going to be coming from, and I guessed right. I do believe I hit the pillar, and I ended up dying for it. And then Coleman got another two shots in, I think. Something like that. Um, I am going to go just to the end of the game to uh, show the post-game stats for both of those games real quick. How is still being pissy in the Discord chat about getting one tapped? All right, game is opening for post game statistics. The good thing is that these videos shouldn't take too long to render, which is awesome for me because I do want to play a few pubs. I'm supposed to be having a meeting with um with Fox later, like right after I record these. So I hope it goes well. If I get kicked out of Tron, just know that I'm taking Nick with me. Is this ever gonna load? Or how long does it have to synchronize my equipment? It's not like I have much. Consumables though. I do have consumables. I have like 10,000 food or something. I think I'm at 2,000 food for my chieftain alone because that's just what I play a lot for um advances. Alright, so we'll start with the Himmelsdorf game. So this is the Himmelsdorf game. I got the badges that no one gives a shit about. And only a first class because depression with 7.1k damage. Now, something that I found really interesting is that I crit the 62 piece fuel tanks twice. Or was that two different ones? It was two different ones. So I crit two different 62 piece fuel tanks. And I, I found that really funny because they were both running um, auto fire extinguishers like cunts. And then, where's the other one? Oh, yeah, the 183. I crit his fuel tanks and his ammo rack. And then SP was just... Yeah, SP was gun. Kron was track. Yeah, okay. So even with this low caliber gun, I managed to crit quite a few modules, which I'm, I'm pretty happy about. So I ended up 4k above... Well, 3.2 what, 3.4k above the next person on my team, something like that. I don't know, math is hard. Um, and I make credits, but no one gives a shit. This guy did do pretty well. Um, I'm not too sure if that's the one that I shot. I don't think it is, is it? Oh, it is, Surgery Lord. So playing that hill, he still did pretty well, even though he doesn't have turret armor. I think he just made a mistake with trying to aim at me after moving. 
I feel like it would have been better for him had he not taken that shot. He probably could have used more HP to get more damage. But that was just one mistake that he made. A lot of people make it. And he really had no reason to suspect that I would have hit him with that snapshot. And then this game. So yeah, I got two more shots of damage at the end of the game. So Koman ended up doing 5k and Dutaki failed with 500. I feel like I played this game okay. I wish I didn't hit the pillar at the end, and then I would have gotten even more damage that I would have passed Koman, and I could have called Koman fucking garbage. I think one of the reasons why people are thinking this tank is overpowered is by how much they're at the top. You can see on this team that three of us were at the top, and then they had one at the top, and I think that's really giving people a false sense of how good this tank is. I mean, it is mostly good players that are playing these tanks. But it's not like it's a super broken tank. This thing is... Honestly, I think this tank is one of probably the most balanced tanks they've added into the game. It's not completely shit. And it's not brokenly good. It's in that rare middle area where it has very good statistics on one thing, which is the gun, as you can tell from the um, the firepower here. The gun is really the redeeming factor about this tank. And then the rest of this is just mediocre. Sure, 2,000 hit points, cool. But the armor sucks and the suspension repair speed is long as fuck. And then, like, the mobility, cool. It goes 45, but without a turbo... Your speed still feels very lackluster to use this kind of a gun because of how much you're shooting. Why the fuck am I on SA? Um, the concealment is pretty good. Yes, that's true. However, whenever you shoot, it goes lower than almost any other TD that I own. Even my version 4 doesn't drop this much in camo after shooting. And I find that really, really hindering because not only do you lose the bushes camo if you are unable to use bush mechanics, but it basically means that you have no chance whatsoever to not get lit. And that really limits you as to how you can play this tank. Unlike the version 5, for example, where you have that really good camo and you keep that camo after shooting, or you keep quite a bit of that camo after shooting, not all of it, but quite a bit, you aren't risking getting lit after every single shot. Whereas this tank, after every shot, even if you're using bush mechanics, you have to pull down off the hill if you're on a hill or behind cover because you still have that chance of getting lit. And then, my view range isn't max, but who the fuck cares? It's a TD. If you run fucking vision on a TD, you're actually kind of retarded because you have camel, you don't need vision. But, I mean, it's, it's everyone's playstyle. If you want to use vision, you can use vision. I don't give a shit. And, uh, that's the end of the SP video. See you guys.